everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with 2017-18 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey. Four box, random team break number 14 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. One spot gets you two teams in a four box break. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. For Blues Double Zero, finishing the break off. So we'll double you up Sir Mix-a-Lot style. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. Wild and Lightning. Our combo and everything else is the same. Let's randomize each list. Lucky seven times. One and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seven times. After seven times, we got Scott all the way down to William. And then seven times for the teams. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. Then final time. After seven times, we've got the Blackhawks all the way down to the Calgary Yoga Flame. Remember, Dalsim from Street Fighter Two. All right, Scott McNulty, uh, you have the Blackhawks. Derek with the Oilers. Lucas with the Penguins. William Rosenthal, Wild and Lightning combo. Blues double zero, Coyotes, Canucks, Panthers, Maple Leafs, St. Louis Blues, Caps, and Red Wings. All bunched up together right there. Michael G, Predators, Blues double zero, Golden Knights, Michael G, Kings, Blues double zero, Sharks, um, and Maple Leafs are your last spot mojo teams. Scott McNulty, Flyers, Blues double zero, De uh, Devils, William with the Rangers, Scott with the Canadiens, William with the Hurricanes, Scott with the Islanders, Blues with the Blue Jackets, Scott with the Stars and Bruins, Derek with the Jets, Lucas with the Senators, William with the Sabres, uh, William Rosenthal with the Avs, Blues Double Zero with the Ducks, and William with the Flames. Let's sort by team. Any trades, boys and girls? And here are the packs we're giving away at the end. One, two, three, four, five. They'll be randomly packed to the winners. There'll be a separate randomizer with the original 15 names. And remember, we marked these break 14, so you know they're from the same inner case. I think we only have one more inner case left. So break 15 and 16 will be our last ones of SP Authentic. All right, looks like no trade, so let's close up the trade window. TWC, trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip. All right, good luck, everybody. There's the final list right there on a Tuesday, the 24th. This month is going, this month, this year, going by way too fast, ladies and gentlemen, way too fast. All right. I haven't done this in a while. This should take us to the bottom of the hour, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is part of the all, all Breaks Sold promo. Now, remember, it's got those, got the bounty stuff. All the details are right there. Um, this is part of the promo, but it remains to be seen whether it happens or not. Flawless and Noir Soccer on the website have to fill by the bottom of the hour to unlock $300 of break credit. So if you want it, go and get it, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Hopefully we don't put money on the table, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're not in this break, or even if you are in this break, and you want to try to unlock that break credit, I would open up a new tab. And go to jazbeeshobbyland.com and start picking up some teams, picking up some spots. Come back to the chat. Let others know that you picked up teams and spots to kind of fire them up. And hopefully that will be the, the, uh, the miniature snowball on top of the mountain that we roll down the hill cartoon style. 
and turns into like a uh, Indiana Jones, you know, Temple of Doom style. No, Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark style boulder rolling down the hill. That's momentum, ladies and gentlemen. Momentum in action. All right. Oh, yeah, we've got a bunch of these blank cards, too. Good luck, boys and girls. Here we go. There's, I like the Young Guns cards that they throw in here. At a 9.99 Future Watch. That's for the Hurricanes. Another future watch, Spectrum FX Level 2. Nick Merkley for the Coyotes. That'll go to Blues Double Zero. And the Coyotes. The Yotes. Do they call them the Yotes? I don't think they call them the Yotes. Maybe? I don't watch enough hockey. Nikita Kucherov. Spectrum FX. That'll go to the Lightning, the Wild Lightning combo. William Rosenthal with that one. They do. They do call him, William L is saying that they do call him the Yotes. All right, maybe I maybe I heard that somewhere. That's good. And we'll top load all of this stuff before it gets shipped out. You know what we haven't seen? It's nice, big David. Um, I think the one of ones all have a black background or something like that. I have not seen one of those. And this is what break fourteen. Maybe we're due. And there's our first auto, Brendan Lemieux, out of 999 for the Winnipeg Jets. That'll be for Derek Slavic and the Jets, Jets, Jets. And there is Cyborg Yarmir Yager. How how does he play hockey for so long without having some of his limbs? ligaments and body parts and organs replaced by by machine he's a cyborg ladies and gentlemen vince carter cyborg All right who else is old and plays <laughs> plays a sport dirk nowitzki cyborg jason terry possible cyborg Yarmir Yager, Cyborg. Bartolo Colon, Cyborg. Jamie Moyer. Remember Jamie Moyer? He was pitching until he was like 50. <laughs> Jamie Moyer, Cyborg. Nolan Ryan, definitely a Cyborg, right? You can't, you can't throw for that long. There's Zach Hyman, sign of the times for the Maple Leafs, Toronto. That goes to Blues Double Zero. Last spot, Mojo. No way that Nolan Ryan pitches that long. That hard, that effectively, for that many years, that many innings, without having some sort of cyborg body part in him. Yarmir Yager, definitely a cyborg. Look how young he looks. Doesn't even look like he's 85 years old. Definitely a cyborg. All right. Next box. Ladies and gentlemen, now most 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 of you know, I don't, I I should I enjoy watching hockey. I just don't follow it closely enough. 
That's why you see, you'll, you'll see me fumble with the names a lot, so I apologize about that to the hockey fans out there. But I got a question for you, more knowledgeable hockey fans. The Las Vegas Golden Knights, was last year just a one-off, you know, or or do are they constructed in such a way that that their playoff success could be could be repeatable, you know, with a maybe a, a future draft or a future free agent or a trade here and there, maybe after a, a couple little tweaks, like can they do it again? Like can they win the division? Can they win the conference? Can they go as deep and can they, can they go to the Stanley Cup finals? Or at least deep into the playoffs, is that, is that, or is that crazy talk? Or was it just a bunch of average players just playing out of their minds? If you have any thoughts on that, let me know in the chat. Is the Vegas effect real? There's that too. Now that's that, as a. As a big NFL guy, as an Oakland Raiders supporter, that is the most intriguing thing for me. Well, the Vegas flu is what they used to call it. They not used to, they still call it Vegas flu. Like, where guys go to Vegas, play the home game, play the home team in Las Vegas. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe that road team looks a little flat. What happened? Just like any other road game, right? These guys are usually good on the road, but then could be interesting. All right. Let's go through this next box here. There's Jeff Glass, Young Guns. And Future Watch, 642 out of 999, Kaylor Yamamoto for the Edmonton Oilers. Derek Slavic with the Oilers. Nice. We got uh, Samuel Girard for Colorado Future Watch. And Anze Kopitar, Spectrum FX. Kopitar, of course, will go to Michael G and the Kings. And the Future Watch Level 1 will go to William Rosenthal and the Avs. Like these old school cards right there. There's for the auto centers, Eric Carlson, Kyle Turris, and we'll have all of those cards top loaded before they get sent out. And there's the autograph future watch. Alex Tuk, speaking of the Golden Knights, out of 999. Blues double zero with the Las Vegas Golden Knights. One thing I do know about the Golden Knights, they've really pulled that community together. My sister lives in uh lives in Las Vegas. There's Ville Husso for the Blues. I think Blues Double Zero has the blues. He does. At a nine ninety nine, um, my sister lives in Vegas. And she's she she likes sports, but you know, certainly not a huge hockey fan. Did I go through these cards? I don't know if I did. But you know, a lot of her and her friends got really excited about about the new pro team in town. Entire city has really embraced that team. I think it was after the. Uh, 
I think that season started shortly after the that Mandalay Bay shooting, big tragedy there. And I think that team, you know, whose arena is right behind Mandalay Bay next to the freeway, behind that huge resort, um, I think really just brought that uh, – brought that city together and they were they were winning too winning always helps they were they were winning games and that really fired up a lot of people and the bookmakers lost a bunch of money you know they they were underrating the the golden knights all, all year long there are a lot of people who won a lot of great futures bets on on the golden knights because a lot of people are just like hey hometown team i'll oh, you know what's 10 what's 20 bucks on on the golden knights to win the western conference at plus, I don't know, I don't know, whatever the odds were, 5,000, 50 to 1, something like that, 20 bucks, 50 to 1, do the math, it turns out to be pretty good. A lot of stories like that, and just throughout the regular season, Golden Knights at home, you know, that was always a strong play. So for all those reasons, really, really brought the uh, really brought the town together. I was here. I was uh, listening to a podcast or something like that. I think it was um, it's a sports betting podcast. I think they were interviewing someone who who like did sports radio out there, and he was saying, you know, there were there were neighbors I didn't even know who've been living next door to for years would would never say more than a couple words to them. Hi, good morning, good good evening. You know, they say, hey, then one day you start seeing Vegas Golden Knight flags flying from that from houses. You start you, you see people's living rooms lit up with the Golden Knights game on TV. People would come home, you know, and now in the next morning, instead of good morning, it's good morning and how about them Golden Knights? It brought the community together. I think it worked out it worked out well. Basketball maybe next? What 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 do you think the next team could be? In Las Vegas, football, NFL is definitely going there. If NFL is there, I mean, it can't be too far behind. NBA can't be too far behind. Adam Silver has always has been a lot more. Uh, he's been very progressive about embracing sports gambling in general. So I don't think he's shy about moving a team to Vegas. Baseball would probably be the last sport to get there, right? If at all. There's a Walmart, Luke, Lucas Walmart for the Hurricanes. That'll be for William L. Shy Flea. Right? I got it. Phil Kessel. Spectrum FX for the Penguins. That'll be for Lucas No. What's up, Jared? What's going on? There's a big hit right down here. Why don't I save that for, for later? And there's Roland McCown out of 9.99. Shy Flea, I got it? Nice. William, If William L. says I got it, I feel pretty good about that. I feel like I didn't hear his name enough in the... Well, no, I guess I would hear his name during the, during the Stanley Cup Finals, and then I'd be like, who the hell are they talking about? There's... There's no guy with the last name Shy Flea on the back of his jersey. I know this guy, Patrick Waugh. Everyone knows Drew around here. Nice Austin Matthews for the Toronto Maple Leafs Blues Double Zero. I know this guy, Austin Matthews. Jared's asking, how do I get into pick your team breaks? Very easily. You go to jazbeeshobbyland.com, click on the product that you want to join, bring down the drop-down menu, you pick your team. 
if your team is available. Or you can pick amongst the teams that are remaining. We got a Future Watch autograph patch of Will Butcher, the Butcher, the Baker, the Candlestick Maker. Three color patch and autograph. What is that? 39 out of 100 on a much heavier card stock. That is cool. That goes to New Jersey. That'll be for Blues Double Zero. I think New Jersey just reported that they uh, generate a lot of revenue from the state from uh, from sports betting. Which may get to California someday, Blues Double Zero. Someday. I feel like we're I feel like California might be one of the last places to get it, but eventually. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck, boys and girls. Uh, like I said before, we'll post another half case break from a fresh inner case on jazpiecehobbyland.com of uh, 1718 SP Authentic. That will be our last uh, break. When are basketball breaks happening? That's what you want to join? Well, great. There's plenty of Spectra basketball, and they will happen whenever they sell out, whenever that spot's left number gets to zero. So if you help out, someone else might be able to help out. Some other people might be inspired to chip away at some teams. Next thing you know, we'll be in Breaksville. Now, I see zero orders coming in, folks. We do have, we do have a half hour left in the broadcast to try to fill up something. But it looks like unless uh, Noir and Flawless sell out in the next four minutes, it looks like we've left break credit on the table, unfortunately. But I'm sure we'll save that we'll save that break credit for another promo sometime this week or next week or something like that. So keep an eye out for jazbeeshobbyland.com for that. William saying, I'm actually pretty new to the NHL, but their streaming package is great. Although blackout zones are done, I blackout zones are terrible. You know, baseball always talks about, hey, how do we get how do we get younger younger people to watch baseball and get into it more? How about you let them stream on their iPads? <laughs> like like I would love it if I could if I could stream baseball games on my iPad, if I could stream Dodger games on my on my iPad. Let kids do that. They're re I think they're really aggressive on 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 uh, video sharing too. I don't think they like they let people like make their own gifts or whatever and send out. they they shut those people down. I was like, why? Just, just let let them share your content. You know, so. But yeah, um, I think going back to what William L was saying, I, I definitely want. I definitely think that the that the sport that benefited the most from HD TV, from high def technology, is got to be. Um, it's got to be hockey, and then soccer probably, but definitely hockey. There's I Ivan Barbashev, Spectrum FX Level One for the St. Louis Blues. That goes to Blues. We got Johnny Goudreau. It's Johnny Hockey, right? There he is for the Calgary Flames. That'll be for William L. Um, ordinary gamers, Ben's asking, how much is it for uh, entry to baseball, like a baseball game? Young Guns for the Rangers. Like a baseball game, um, it varies. You know, if you want to get a seat behind home plate at a Dodger Stadium, you know that's going to cost you thousands of dollars a seat. Uh, if you want to get nosebleeds at Dodger Stadium, that'll still be like, I don't know, fifteen, twenty bucks a pop. There's John Gillies for the Flames, out of nine ninety nine. Another one for uh, William Elm. 
and all and everywhere in between. No, it's it's not that bad at all, actually, pricing wise. It's the uh, it's everything else that gets really expensive. You know, it's it has become difficult for you know family of four to let's say an average family of American family of four to go anywhere. You know what I mean? Like like you know, let's say you want to get some decent tickets. You know, it's twenty bucks a pop, right? It's hot dogs for the kids. You know, and yourself. Whoa, let's take a look at this first. Jakub Voracek, Wayne Simmons, Ivan Provorov, Provorov, and Travis Konecki. One out of ten sign of the times. Quadruple autograph. For the Fly Flyers fly. No randomizer there. That goes to Scott McNulty and the Philadelphia Flyers. Wow. One out of ten. The first one ever made. First one ever made. And you can see that these are not... No, these are stickers. Sorry. I, at first, I was going to say they're not stickers, but that's the first one they put stickers on. Very nice. All right. And we're, we're going to close out with... But yeah, anyway, to finish that thought before this break is over, hard to take a family for everywhere. Hot dogs, a, a beer, parking, getting there. But baseball is still a lot cheaper than basketball and the NFL. All right. Hockey is actually pretty decent. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Now let's go back to that list we had at the beginning because we got to give away some packs right here. So let's go back to the original list of 15. Let's randomize some new dice. There you go. Snake eyes. One and two, top five. After two times, William, William R, William L, Blues Double Zero, Michael G, and Blues Double Zero, you get some overtime packs right here. And guess what? There could there could be could be autographs in here as well. Thanks everybody. We'll have more of SP Authentic in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com, our last inner case. Check it out, and we'll break this with you next time. Thanks. Bye bye.